How in the hell did you pull Simone Biles? <laughs> Man, and we said, I love this football talk, bro. I got to get yeah, to him. I'm over here rubbing my I, knees I, trying to answer this question. Hey, Chad, I wanted to tell him, he's talking about being looked over. Now when the right people look at you. Yeah, that's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How did you do that, bro? Man, it's really, really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. After his appearance on the Pivot podcast, Jonathan Owens, Simone Biles' husband, a member of the Green Bay Packers, is being talked about a lot. I just got to Houston. I probably have been to Houston seven months. COVID had just hit. And, but I had just went to Arizona and one of my boys was like, hey man, you gotta check out this app, you know? And I'm like, man, I'll check it out. Like, what is it? It was called Raya at the time. Literally have been on the app for a couple of days, man. And it's like, she pops up and I'm like, mm, let me see who this is. Gymnastics, I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics. So it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know? So I'm like, okay, that's, 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 I, I'll see what's up. I swiped her and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout and I come back and I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this might be it. I'm like, okay. So I see what's up and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone and then she messages me on the app like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a, man, this gotta be fake. Like, I don't know, just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she gotta be good if, yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college. Brian Clark is all of us here. Like I was saying, man, she she messaged me. This was like a Tuesday, and we 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 were texting back and forth, and then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much since COVID happened. Everything was shut down, so um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So so you was really the catch in. I always say we the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did though. She is did, what you say. We'll have more on this part in just a moment. The moment where I knew she was the real deal, we were going to I think she had a invitational, a gym invitational. No, um, it was milk and cookies. We were we, oh, it was, it was milk. milk and cookies with Corvac. Yo, went to get went milk to get milk and cookies and cookie spot in Houston, the number one rated. Wow. Number one rated cookie spot, and it was so many. I think it was like a Sunday we went. It was all these moms, and you know they're there with their kids, and we walked past, and everybody stopped and just kids are like shaking. It was like, oh my god, and I'm like, you thought it's because you thought you were fine, huh? man? Nah, <laughs> that's what's funny. They asking me, they like, here, can you take this picture? And I'm like, <laughs> this man's a hell of a safety. She's he will the never be planet. as good as a safety as this look. Is as a gym. <laughs> <laughs> you agree, bro? You know what? He might because the other day I said, you know what? In a couple years, nobody is gonna call him Simone Biles' husband. They'll call me Jonathan Owens' wife. That's, Speaking of, I don't know if you so saw sweet. it. Biles, twenty six, and Owens, twenty eight, went public with their relationship in August of twenty twenty, and wed nearly three years later in a Houston courthouse. In May, they had an intimate ceremony amongst close friends and family in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Simone clearly heard all of the chatter and the critiques. Thus, she fired off this tweet. Are y'all done yet? The most liked reply was this, though. Why are you mad at us? Your husband said it. Biles told E! News of their relationship. I knew he was the one when I first met his mother. She has a little bit of a disability with her walking. She's gotten a lot stronger. But how he treated his mother and how he treats women, I was like, wow. Almost weekly, he brings me flowers, she said. It's kind of cliche, but it's just so cute because after practices from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., he still takes the time to put a smile on my face. Owens would post on Instagram in the aftermath of the interview that he was unbothered in a caption. So let's be clear about a few things. Simone's own words already put to bed the he disregards her or disparages her or disrespects women. What I see is a younger dude, although he's 28, I see a younger dude who is incredibly confident, maybe has somewhat of an ego, um, and didn't choose his words carefully enough, and people are free to unload on him. What he said about the men are always the catch, at this point feels like and I'm, I'm not saying he is this. I'm just saying how it came across. It practically seems like 
something Jordan Peterson would say. It sounds like something that Charlie Kirk would say. Like, that's where we're at. Didn't come off great, but if you listen to the entire interview, you would then hear about how much he cares about her, how he respects her opinion, and how she has helped him in the mental health space. And he told a story about how he they were in bed, he was watching film on his iPad, and it really sounds like Simone picks her words more carefully maybe than he does or picks her spots more carefully than he does in the fact that she said one thing about his style of play and it immediately helped him, which was, you know, are you, he wasn't making some plays and he was watching film and she kind of just broached the subject of, are you overthinking out there? Because it seems like you're overthinking. And to Owens' credit, he owned up to it, said she was right. He went and saw a sports psychologists to help him out. And they also agreed that he might be overthinking. He bettered himself to not do that under Simone's guidance and words and played his tail off and looked a lot better after that. Another part of this where I feel like is totally getting lost in the sauce is everyone is entitled to their own opinion, okay? More importantly, what is Simone's opinion? Oh, Jonathan Owens doesn't respect Simone Biles. He thinks he's better than Simone Biles. What does Simone think? We saw it from that meme. Third and lastly... Uh, Channing Crowder, as I was watching this, said what I was thinking, which is on your best day or your best season or your best few seasons, you will never be as accomplished as her. Like think of the best safety in the National Football League ever, ever, and then put their resume up against Simone Biles's. It's just not going to happen. It's just not, which is another argument for another day.